Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are watching my video for the first time, welcome to my channel. I hope you like what you see. I hope you subscribe before you leave. But today, um, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about the struggles of a prison wife and tips for overcoming those struggles um, that we go through. So um, really, I just, I haven't made a, a sit down video like this for a while and I still get comments on my other prison wife videos and I just felt like it was time to like sit down and do another one. I've been having a lot of struggles lately and I just feel like um, getting on here and talking about them and giving tips for anyone else who's going through it just helps me personally get through my struggles and um, just so other people can, I don't know, give tips for other people because me helping other people see that they're not the only ones in this um, it just helps me too, personally. Um, anyways, so I was talking to my dear Julie the other day and something that she said really resonated with me. Uh, we were just talking about life in general. Like she knows my situation. She watches all my videos. So thank you for watching. But she said that good. She said, you know, something along the lines of like, it's a good thing that we come from a, a strong we come from a family of strong women um and she said i was very strong and all this stuff and i thought that was really true that reigned really really true um, for my family and my background so going with that i just wanted to basically commend all of you out there who are going through this women men you know i've had men comment and say that you know their wife is locked up and they're holding it down for them so it's not just women that are going through these struggles that we do um but yeah just commend you for it because it takes somebody who's really mentally strong to deal with this type of life and i know it's not a life that we chose or wanted but it takes somebody who's really really strong to like keep going and to hold yourself up and also hold your spouse up so that's kind of like my intro um but i have my notes here so forgive me because i only keep looking down so the first thing I wanted to talk about is like time management. So when you're doing everything on your own, you're working on your own, you're taking care of ki kids if you have kids together, um, time management is one of the biggest things because you're having to be a wife, a mother, and above all, a lot of things, sister, whatever. Um, so it's really good to have your own routine. Um, you know, you kind of like develop this own, your own type of life without your spouse, which sucks, but it does help you get through the days. Um, just knowing, look, I have to go to work. I have to take the kids to do this, to school, whatever. And having your own routine set down, it really does help you cope with things. Um, I know it sucks going on without them, but to have your own routine by yourself is a good thing. Um, and just making sure that you include your spouse into that routine, whether it be sending messages, whether it be sending letters, whether it be answering phone calls, just keep them in, in that loop of your routine. The next thing, um, okay, this is a big one. I didn't talk about it in any of my other last videos. I don't think so. But uh, physical needs um, is kind of like a, a touchy subject or a serious subject and sometimes you don't want to talk about it but I'm just gonna say without getting into too much detail um, you kind of get used to that aspect of not having like the person there to meet your physical needs um, it's you'll be surprised how long you go without something how much you miss it less um, I do have my days I mean we're human we all have our days but you know, me and him, we have our phone conversations. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So just try to keep things, you know, spicy on the phone as much as you can. If you have phone calls. If not, do it in a letter. Okay, the next thing is... Oh, this is a big one. And it, I know it's not just me. But when people ask 
how much time is he doing when is he getting out what did he do you know even like i'll still get even people that i don't know very well anymore or at all and never did and they'll still be like what happened where's your man at what what blah 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 and a lot of it is just um people are really nosy <laughs> and that's just life um and it really it's up to you to choose who you want to tell what so sometimes like I'll just be like he's in jail he's locked up and sometimes I just won't respond it's really up to you you get to share what what part of your life you want to share with others so don't ever feel like just because somebody asks you you have to explain which I kind of touched that in my, my other video but that is like one of my biggest things is like don't ask if you you think if I knew when he was coming home I would probably have told you if we're close enough I would have told you um, if I haven't told you, then we're probably not that close or I will tell you if I want to tell you. Okay. So, and also all I, I wrote on here is be kind, even if it's irritating, you know, um, you don't have to be rude to people. People aren't going to understand your lifestyle. People are just nosy, like I said. So just be as kind as possible because it's nice. You don't want bad karma. <coughs> Okay, money, 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 money. Um, I've never talked about really budgeting so much on my channel just because if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I am bad at it. I've gotten better, um, but when he first left, he did leave some money and savings. He was really good with money, finances, all of that, but I was not and I messed some things up, but I'm getting a lot better it's kind of taught me a lesson um, to be more responsible with my money on my own, especially when I have no one else to depend on to take care of those things for me right now because that was him and now it has to be me. So um, one thing I would say is write things down. I do write down a lot of my bills and it just helps me remember like when things are due, what money's going where because if you don't write down things, um, you kind of forget like what's due and then sometimes you'll get paid and you're like oh I have all this money and then you're like oh wait no it's all going to this so just write some stuff down that helps me um, creating a budget that works for you so I don't really believe in like um, watching a video on budgets and then just going with that like you have to really just make something that works for you and what you what bills you have everyone has different type of bills um, so for me personally, the best thing that I do is like just form it around my checks. Um, yeah, when I get paid on this day, I'm going to pay this, this, and this, and etc. So that goes along with writing it down. Um, I personally have had to take on a second job at night. Um, and it, although it's been very hard, been very hard, I said been very hard, been very hard with my kids and everything, um, it's just something that I had to do to make sure that we make ends meet. Um, so yeah, I mean, if that is a possibility and you have to take on another job, then so be it. You just remember it's only temporary. That's what I tell myself. It's only temporary. Um, yeah, and just do what you got to do. That's just what it is. Okay, um, lawyer info. So if your significant other is still fighting their case or they have stuff that they're still doing with their lawyer, just be involved as you can. Um, what I do is I make it no make myself known to the lawyer. I'm his wife. You can talk to so me. So yeah, I just um, say you can talk to me about anything. You can reach out to me for any information. Have a good relationship with their lawyer because that will help. You want to be really personable with them so that they can have a personal connection to you and your family and getting your person home, your man, your wife, whatever. Um, so yeah, I just try to build a really good relationship with the lawyer. I try to let them know. Sorry, my son just went to the bathroom. <sighs> try to let them know that you're there to help, whether it be faxing, whatever. Just make yourself available. And then also relaying the info to your husband or wife and letting them know this is what the lawyer is doing, this is what they need, all of that. So just be really, really involved because you can't just rely on a lawyer to just do everything and you know even though you pay them thousands of dollars you still have to stay on them so that they know that you're like I'm watching you 
You're not just gonna get away with just filing some motions and then being like, okay, bye. <coughs> so yeah, I'm talking so much my throat is dry. Um, okay, so there's a few more. Um, the kids asking, and I did touch on this in another video, but um, just to go back into that, um, your kids asking when dad's gonna be home, when, why is he gone? I miss him, like all of that stuff. Um, I like to, my son asks a lot more um, because when he left, his dad was two. When his dad left, he was two. His dad was two. When he left, his dad left, he was two. He's four now, going on five. And um, he still asks, he still says I miss dad and stuff, but I try to refresh his memory. Um, I try to bring out little videos of them playing on um, their cars and stuff like that. And just saying, do you remember when dad did this? Do you remember the, when dad did that? Um, just so he has those, those memories fresh in his mind, like good memories. I also bring out our um, photo albums, our family fo photo albums and show him, you know, do you remember when dad did this and did that? Just so he can have good memories and not just thinking like dad isn't here, you know? Um, and then also I do um, keep dad in the loop. So if I say, you know, you can't do this or if I, I'll talk to my husband and say, you know, Aziz is doing this lately and then he'll say, well, tell him this. So I'll say, dad said, you know, such, such, such. And just keeping that to where you you, it shows that you guys are both still making the decisions together. Um, so I'll say, dad said you can't do this or you have to go to bed at this time or dad says brush your teeth every night. Like, and it, it does help. He'll still, he'll be like, okay, okay. So yeah, just keep you, them in the loop and it's not just like, oh, mom's making all the decisions. Okay. Um, the last one I want to talk about is depression and I'm talking mostly about them so my husband does tend to get a little bit um depressed here and there and i mean it's it's natural he's been away from us for a really long time this was something that happened suddenly and unexpectedly and it's depressing for him so i try to mostly just listen to him when he gets in those depressive states um and not take it personal. I try not to, cause you know how they say if someone's in a bad mood, it can put you in a bad mood, but you have to not think about it like that. You just have to think, like listen and basically just empathize and think, dang, if I was away from my kids and my man for going on three years and not knowing my fate, um, how would I feel? I'd be, I'd be sad all the time. Um, and I mean, I am still sad without him here, but to think about it on their perspective, they don't get to control when they call or anything. They don't know what we're doing out here. So, um, <clears throat> one thing that I know helps when he gets depressed is just, um, keeping in contact him with him a lot. Like if he's messaging me, I'll message him a lot more just to show him, look, you're not alone. Think happy thoughts. I'm still here for you. Um, and being the stronger person, I'll bring up good memories of us. Do you remember when we did like specific memories? Like, do you remember when, you know, certain things that only we know about each other. So bringing up good memories helps a lot, helps him a lot. And I noticed that when I talk to him a lot more when he's depressed, he does seem to feel a lot better. Um, and then just touching on yourself, um, it can definitely get a lot really depressing. You know, I have days where I'm just like, I freaking hate this. I can't do this. Like, I just, I can't do it. I'm tired. I'm sad. I'm lonely. But... <clears throat> Um, I saw this on Instagram today. There's another prison wife that I follow and she had mentioned, she had made a comment and it, it was something that I always tell myself as well. And it's like one day, 20, 30, 10 years from now, you're going to look back. We're going to look back and we're going to be like, damn, we made it through that. Like we're tough. We're strong. That was only the beginning. Like it brought us closer. And I think about that all the time. I think about how this is just temporary. And in the future, I'm going to be so, so thankful for this struggling time in my life because sometimes I'm not. <laughs> sometimes right now I can't see the end result, but just remind yourself that. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I will stop blabbering, but 
I just wanted to make another video. I wanted to say that, you know, we are definitely strong. We are going to get through this. And if I, and if my videos can help anyone, like even one person, um, not feel alone and not feel judged and not feel sad, even for 10 minutes, then I did something because this is what it's all about. I want to help you guys and I want to, I want us to all come out on top. Like I literally want to look back and be like, oh, I remember her. Oh, she's with her man now. Oh, this, you know, like it's not just about me. And I know I talk about like my personal struggles, but I know there's other people going through the same exact thing and you're not alone. I'm here for you too. I have people who reach out to me, who email me, who talk to me all the time. And that's what I want. I want us to uplift each other and okay, I'll stop being corny, <laughs> but thank you for watching my videos. Um, and I will make another one shortly. I know it's been a while, but thank you again. Thank you for all the love and support. And I will see you guys in my next video. And bye.